Welcome to the Atomic Athletic YouTube channel again. Uh, remember, we're at AtomicAthletic.com. Go into the online store so that you can buy stuff. That's what this is all about. Except, right now, I'm calling this one Dumbbells for Geniuses, just because it sounds great. But really, it should probably be more like Dumbbells for the really and truly obsessive compulsive, uh, which is what I am when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I firmly believe in using the right equipment for exactly the right job. And if you're into dumbbells, one of the key things that you must have is good collars. Because the worst thing in the world is to have, you know, you, you do your lift and ah, your plates come off and oh, crash, they bang all over the place and you break your toe. Um, not that I've ever done that, but I firmly and really believe that I don't want to. So, on to the dumbbells. We have one of our long dumbbell bars right here. It's a one inch diameter. People think that standard size equipment is for the unprofessional or the amateur type person, and there are very real and legitimate reasons to use standard size equipment. I developed this bar, which is a truly round, uh, as in turned on a lathe, round, black oxided, non-plated, 20 inch long dumbbell bar, initially for the iron boots, so that you could put them together and do leg extensions and leg curls with them. The old guys at York all did that. As it turns out, it's a fantastic size for dumbbell handles. Part of the key, though, is that you need inside collars for it. And that's a cool thing, because if you've got inside collars that are movable, you can change your hand width between your plates. Uh, I use our Allen collars here. Uh, in fact, I am using our set screw type Allen collars on the inside here, which is not something that we normally sell on our website separately, uh, but it is something that we use on our pro style uh, brass thick handle dumbbells and our pro style plate loading kettlebell handles. Uh, what we normally sell would be a wrenchless screw type collar. Now zoom in here and you will see what is called a wrenchless screw. You have the little bar that slides and that is absolutely essential because if you do not have the sliding bar, the little bar will hit your plates uh, to tighten up. This is not a great type of collar, <laughs> but it is serviceable. The nice part is that it is easily removable. Remember, easily removable. The downside of any wrenchless screw collar is that the little bar can get stuck on your clothing. So, the variation on that, and this is a antique York one right here, is the uh, screw type, non-wrenchless screw collar, meaning you must have a wrench to tighten these down. So that is one way to get away from having a wrenchless screw that catches on your clothes. Martial arts guys, that is an issue. If you have loose, a loose gi or uh, kung fu clothing or something, and you're trying to do stuff where it might catch on your clothing, that's an issue. You do not want it catching on your clothing. It will loosen up, plates will fall off, and you will damage your floor or your dumbbells or worse yet, your foot. <clears throat> the next step in uh, collars that are standard size would be a heavier duty collar. We sell two different types of heavy duty collars here. This is our new barbell type, so it's heavier. These are about one pound a piece. You've got this type of wrenchless screw where it's bent on an angle so it doesn't hit the plates right here. The longer collar does make a difference in its holding ability. You have more surface area holding onto the bar. 
Next step, this is our regular Allen collar. It is a constrictor collar, so unlike the wrenchless screw, which would, and focus in here on this, uh, this is an Allen wrench, but I'm going to use it for illustration. A uh, set screw type collar or wrenchless screw collar uh, is going to have a single piece going in like this to your bar, and it will mar your bar because you're screwing it right down to the bar stock. Uh, this is a constrictor type collar, so your uh, Allen screw is set inside and it actually squishes down the collar. It's a C shape, or sort of a C shape, and it draws this closer to make it tight. Now, the downside is you must have an Allen wrench. Uh, and you've got to, you know, do your tightening like this, and it takes some time. The upside is it is very thin, takes up a lot less space on the bar, and it holds like crazy. Unless you pull out this Allen wrench, this baby's not coming off. That being said, we have a new type of Allen collar here. This is for the truly obsessive compulsive. If you're really getting into your collars, you really don't want these babies to come off, uh, this is the one that you get. You're never going to find one nicer than this. I don't care who you are. This is actually stainless steel. <laughs> if you look closely, the edges are knurled, and it's a spin lock collar with a double set of Allen screws. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous overkill. I love these things. I absolutely love them. It is threaded and it's got a great, very fine thread. So you can tighten this down. All that does is when you tighten that down, it keeps your plate tight on the bar. So let me give you an example of how this works. You have four Allen screws. So you put it on the bar like this. You tighten the outside set of Allen screws so that there, this is not going anywhere. Ah, but now you've got all this kind of wiggly wobble in there in your plate. So. Now you start tightening that down with the spin lock part. Now you have no wobble whatsoever. Fantastic. And because you can theoretically spin this and loosen it up that way, this is where the truly obsessive compulsive part comes in. It's fantastic. You can now tighten the screw part down so that the spin lock part isn't going to move anywhere either. Very solid. There you go. Not going to do anything all set. And for the truly obsessive compulsive, I call you geniuses, uh, that is the very best you're going to get. Uh, and we have just started working on the web page for those for our site. Thanks a lot. Once again, Roger LaPointe, Atomic Athletic. Go to atomicathletic.com. That's A-T-O-M-I-C-A-T-H-L-E-T-I-C.com. Thank you.